It's July 3rd and we're at the Perna Family Alzheimer's Fundraiser 4th of July Party. This weekend we celebrated the 4th of July on the 3rd of July at Brandon's parents' house. We arrived super early to help set up, to prep food. I can make a salad, I can toss a salad, oh, I can eat a salad. I can make a salad pretty. Nobody will eat this. <laughs> <laughs> and play. So slow though. Carmi is back there riding a Jeep that Brandon used to ride when he was little. Over there is going to be where all the cars park for the party. And pretty soon, in a little couple hours, it'll be pretty full. For the uh, Alzheimer's Association, raising money, as of my sister, Courtney, link in the description to donate. Put my link in there, not my family's link. So close to $25,000. But we're having a big 4th of July party. I'm going to eat so much barbecue. Before we had our daughter and before the pandemic started, Brandon and I would usually spend our 4th of July in the Colorado mountains in a town called Pitkin. The first time Brandon took me there was about eight or nine years ago, and it was the most peaceful place I think I had ever been. It's also where Brandon taught me how to ride four-wheelers, which quickly became my favorite activity that I look forward to on any vacation. It's been three summers now without a trip to Pitkin, and our hearts can't wait to go back and take little Carmi, hopefully next year. Growing up in the cult, 4th of July had always been the largest conference slash prayer session slash retreat of the year. And people came from all over the country, even the world, to sit under the giant tents and listen to the mother do her chants. Essentially, it was the biggest business day for the church, selling publishings, prayer cards, trinkets. I remember there being a lot of haystacks in the field and us kids would climb and jump on them to pass the time in between the prayers. These days, the 4th of July for me is more about celebrating my mom. She was born on July 4th, not so many decades ago, and she is the smartest, most nurturing and empathetic person in my life. Being fortunate enough to watch her with Carmela in these early years has been nothing short of a gift. It's time we won't ever get back and it's moments that will never be this sweet again. Happy, happy birthday, Mama Bear. We can't wait to hug you. And a happy 4th to all of you. This week, I'll be prepping the house for Grassi's visit, hanging with Carmi, and doing a lot of random things. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. Bye-bye.